So we're going to be going with our verse now. And if you remember, we started off with a hammer-on portion of a, a turnaround, which is a refrain uh, of a call and response. So uh, the place where he was born and raised, the people are going to sing the back backup call and response to the lead vocalist. But if we're going to play that on the banjo, we don't want to start with a simple note like this. We want to hammer into it. And that required a little bit different technique. So we use that first. And that's why we did that first. So we don't have to worry about doing that when we're actually playing the song. We're going to play the song um, in such a way that we're going to just use a backward roll before that. And that's why we don't want to confuse it. So I showed you that portion first. Now we're going to just forget all about that and take it from the top as uh, if we're actually going to be playing it. So we've done our, our kickoff and we had a forward roll before that. So we're going to start off with a hammer on second string, first fret to the third fret, and that's thumb pluck ants. And then a beginning of a forward roll with that. The middle finger plucks the first string open, and then the thumb plucks the fifth string. So and then another forward roll, ring finger stays there on that second string, third fret, and we play two, one, five. That's first middle thumb. So it's hammer, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. Now that's pretty plain Jane. So we're going to re remember that syncopation exercise we did before this that gives it... And that'll spice it up a little bit for us. So we have... But we're not going to use the syncopation when we're learning it right now because we want to be able to focus on which notes are where. And that'll obscure some of the notes. So we have hammer on the two. One, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. And then first finger goes to second string, first fret. And it's another two, one, five, which is first middle thumb. So it's now we have a pull off with the choke before it. We're going to take our ring finger on the third string and we're going to choke it down and we're going to pull up with our first finger on the right hand and as we let it go we pull it off that ring finger as we play that pull off we pluck the first string simultaneously with our middle finger so it's first plucking the third string choking down letting it go and then the middle finger plucking the first so get used to that Now we've choked down, and you've heard the saying, what goes down must come up. Well, that's maybe not the way it goes, but that's what we're going to remember. So we're choking down, and then we're going to come up with a choke next, and that's thumb plucking down. So, and another one, but we don't have to worry about a pull-off. So, so it's going to be choke down, pull-off, middle finger plucking simultaneously with the one, and then the thumb plucks the choke up. And then it's a one again open. So it's. And then third string open thumb plucking. So it's. Alright, so we're gonna do that slowly. stop for now get that down so it's two. so we're gonna uh, let me do it a few more times rather than go on to another practice companion we'll just do it all here two three and two three and two three 
and two, three, and two, three, and so you've got that. Practice that until it's nice and smooth, and then we'll go on to the next portion. <laughs>